What I'm going to do is take y'all inside and show you the rack that I bought. I have it partially set up, so let's go inside and look at that. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Want to use turn when possible? No, we're not. Here's my rack. It's uh, pretty tall. It's a tall one. So my isopod's gonna go down here. I don't have six cultures coming in. I don't have six cultures, but just in case I decide to really get into this and get more. And then up here, I have my bins that I'm gonna fill with terrarium supplies for terrarium building. This rack here is going to be my propagation rack, and I still have to, I have my light. There's a light there, and there's two down there. I'm going to put those two lights on because they're 24 inches. The rack is 33 inches long, but that that one there is just too short. So I got two 24-inch lights. I'm going to need to hang those underneath there. And then this top rack, I have to order more shelves. You see, I still got a lot of rack space left. And that's terrarium building supplies. That's uh, some terrarium building stuff. I got a couple jars there. It's hard to see. They're see-through jars. And I need to put some more racks there. But those are going to be my terrarium shelf. And then up top, if I get back into spider keeping, then I'll keep the spiders up there. But yes, that's the rack. And over here, I have my... It's a one gallon pump sprayer that has uh, dechlorinated water in it. And I use the uh, beta, beta tabs. There's like little tablets that you put in with up to two and a half gallons of water to dechlorinate it. And that water would be kept there. And here's the moss that I propagated that I dug up in, uh, I guess it must have been a couple episodes back. This already getting getting attached there and I'm going to be using this in a terrarium build I took the lid off because I started getting a little bit of mold in here so the stuff was a little bit too wet so I opened it up so I can dry out some started getting some mold some of those white patches there are mold I had it a little too wet and also this this bucket this uh, tin cup this 10 cup container is too shallow. So I went back to Dollar Tree and I bought some of these that are a little bit deeper. This is what I need here. And these are how many cups? 16 cups, 16 cup containers. So if you want to propagate your own moss, you got to get the deeper containers because it, it just wasn't, it's not enough room. And the clover back there is in the back. That almost started dying off because it didn't, it was being squished down. It didn't have enough room to spring up. Bring that one up close. See, and it popped back up. It was starting to kind of die off a little bit. That patch right there started going bad. And you see it's above the container so this container also was too shallow for it so I had to take the the um, the lid off so it could spring up and this might be okay just out in the open like this because um, that's how it grows anyway moss needs a little bit more humidity so I think I'll just leave these like this just make sure I keep it keep it moist yeah it's pretty moist in there now and my next, the next bin that I pull for the clover, I'm going to put it in these 16 quart, I mean 16 cup containers, which I need some more of these. I have three. That's all they had. So that's what I bought. And I, like I said, I still need to hang the lights up. I need to hang the lights and I'm going to hang them up from underneath the rack here. They're really slim line too. They're very slim. 
that's the light there. It's got a three quarter inch profile, so it'll fit perfectly right underneath this lip. And I got some some wire ties that I'm going to use to hang it up with. And you can also chain daisy chain two of them together. There's a little a little plug that comes with it that you can connect two of them together. So I'll be doing that with the two that I have down here. And these are my jars for proper, I mean, for making some terrariums. I want to make a terrarium there. I got a smaller jar there, and I have an even smaller jar than this one that I want to try out and see how that works out. So, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And in this bucket here, I have some cocoa coir, some organic potting soil, and that tub there I have charcoal in which I'm going to break up some more and put it down here in these bins here and then I'm going to put labels on these bins so I know exactly what's in each one of them. Got my lights mounted up here and got one in the front here and one in the back and I got them zip tied to the shelf itself. I just hope that these zip ties don't interfere with me put putting things on the shelf so Hopefully that won't mess that up. So, yeah. And I've got them wired together here. There's a wire in between these two connecting them together. And they will operate off of one cord, which is that way, and behind these bins where I have to plug that in. So, I'm going to clip off these wire ties and plug them in. There we go. That looks much better. Got my lights rigged up. They're still a little short, but I think with moss I think it'll be okay with the amount of light that it's going to get on this end. See the, still got a few inches here on the end on both sides of the rack where the light doesn't get like full like that in the middle. But got these mounted up. I think this looks amazing. I'm going to have my water over here, my little water thing, my sprayer here. And i I think I need to move that little battery box there. That was going to be another project that I was thinking about doing but never did. So that's got stuff in it for other projects. Those bins there have stuff in them for other projects. But this this looks really good. This looks good. So I got to order a couple. Like I said, I got to order some more racks here. And that, that will... That would be all that I'm going to do for this right now. I still need to label my my boxes here, and I'll have, of course, I have labels here when I get my when I get my little um, isopods. I'll be putting the labels on the outside of the bin, what's in there, and label these, what's in those. But so far, I really like the way this looks. This looks good. Got my. All my stuff set up there. These two tanks here are going to be for a project coming up soon. And I have my all my bins labeled there. And very excited about this. And the light looks really good. And you can see the moss looks amazing it looks really good and the clover looks very happy back there all right y'all new and different things are happening here so stay tuned thank you for watching and i will see you all in the next episode bye